everyone. It's a great honor to come here and to speak to you a little bit about the work that we've done at Veterans Affairs. It's truly about a journey to improve the veterans' experience. So in FY16, our agency priority goals became very focused on veterans' experience. By the end of September 2017, he would like to hit a point where 90% of veterans who use the services come back and say that that they've had an effective transaction or experience with the VA, that it was easy to deal with the VA, and that they felt like they were a valued customer, they were engaged. We started in 2010, starting from scratch. There's three different administrations within the Veterans Affairs Office. Health currently is one of the largest healthcare organizations in the world. Um, benefits and cemeteries, cemeteries being the smallest administration. There are about 330,000 employees at VA. This program that we put together was really to look at the enterprise across health, benefits, and cemeteries. There are 150 medical centers and about 1,000 local uh, clinics all across the country. And the infrastructure, as I said, was old. In fact, many of the systems um, were built in the 70s and 80s. When a call center agent was looking up status of a claim, they went to 13 different systems to try to get an answer. So there was no trust, there was no actual accuracy in what we were doing. Compliance policy and budget appropriations are not controlled by the organization. It's a very interesting world in which to operate. It's a very difficult environment uh, in order to make progress. So a little bit about our program, Veterans Relationship Management. Um, we really wanted to build state-of-the-art tools and give the folks at VA the opportunity to be able to provide services for veterans. We also wanted to give veterans the opportunity to take care of themselves and be able to do the things they needed to do. So we had multiple components to that, voice access modernization. We did over 80 million calls that came into VA on an annual basis. So we had call centers, we revamped all the call center software. There are 49 national call centers within VA. We worked on self-service, data platform integration. The first call center application we built, we had 47 different sets of services that we built to pull data into the application. Where did eGain fit in all that? eGain was selected in 2010 as our knowledge management tool. In 2013, we rolled out the first release of our knowledge management tool in the call centers to about 800 agents on the benefit side. There were many steps in that process, including establishing a governance process, establishing who were the owners of all these documents, and a huge culling of documents. We had to clean out many, many things. But all of that is now in one place. The neat thing about it is it can be accessed by our partners, the veteran service organizations that help us with claims, states and county government uh, officials that also work with us also have ability to access that. In addition, there is a version of that available for all our veterans on the self-service platform. The version that's shown to the veterans is a lot less technical. We simplified, 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 and it continues to get simplified down using a lot of the data that we see of where people are getting stuck and where there's issues to, to move that forward. We worked with eGain um, and build out what we call the guided assistance. Without eGain's partnership at VA, we would have really been stuck. We did a sole source contract because we believed that they were the right product and the right partner for us. The thing that I think was very useful to us about using eGain is their components in the platform that they bring to the table are the things that allowed us to go quickly. So knowledge management for us would have taken us forever. So it was a proof point for us, a very important proof point. So now all those medical centers and all of those 330,000 health employees are now planning to move to one standard knowledge platform. Thank you all.